Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm going to review the Lucky Laker underwater fishing camera by the company named Lucky. If you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. I'd love to have you as a sub, so hit the subscribe button. Also, at any point in the video, you'd like to own this right now, there'll be Amazon links in the description box. You can click it and take it from there. The Lucky Laker, uh, I had mixed feelings about it. There were pros and cons to it for sure, right? I think the pros sort of uh, have to do with the price. Uh, some of, of it, it can be very practical for, you, you know, used for practical applications and just the, the compact size of it. And then the cons are mainly revolve around the image quality. It's not the greatest. So uh, I'll get into, I'll start, I guess, by I'll show you the main components and the main features. And also keep in mind when I'm making this video, this is, I'm really just gonna use this for ice fishing. I don't know how it would really perform in open water on a sunny, clear day. But I do know when I use that camera, I've had that camera just not in water, just like looking around like at me and at the house and stuff. And it's not, it's still not great uh, image quality. But you're only paying 120 bucks. I think uh, it's like the cheapest model that allows you to record. If the, the next model up that allows you to record imaging is like $250. So, you know, that's it's something to consider. But anyway, some of the main components and features, right? So you have your monitor and this flips open and it's four and a half inches diagonally. And you have a couple different modes in here. You have just your plain monitor, right? And then you can begin recording or you can take a picture or you can review images and imaging that you have already on there. It comes with a 16 gigabyte micro disc. So um, that comes with it and you can record all that and you can, I'm sorry, you can review all that. It saves it as files. I think they're A AVI files, which I've never heard of, but uh, it's supported by Quick, Quick Player and uh, QuickTime, right? The, the Quick Player on the MacBook. And as soon as I put it in my MacBook, it just, it, it recognized the file and played it immediately. I didn't have to download any other apps or anything like that. Um, it's really where it saves it in these like little two minute files, which are only 34 gigabytes. So um, 10 minutes would be 204, not, not 34 gigabytes, sorry, 34 megabytes. Uh, so <laughs> um, 10 minutes would only be 240 megabytes, megabits. Uh, so just something to consider. Um, so that's the monitor. It comes with the, the, the wire is on a spool. And then you have your camera. It's got infrared lights on it. And it comes with these little mounts that you can put it in. It comes with two of them, it's three, two or three of them. But this one is just for, you can have a bird's eye view. Just drop the wire down, you have a bird's eye view, or you can wrap this up. And you have side, side imaging, side view. So those are the main, main components of it. Um, now, I guess I'll go over some of those pros and cons in detail. Um, right. Number one is the price, it gets you in the door. If you really want to create content, you can do it with this. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, uh, but it works. You know what I mean? You can do it. The, I think it's really weird, man, to like have to do side imaging. You have to like this wire, you can't be sitting back. You can't have like the whole of your eyes, right? It's my finger. Like you can't be sitting back like that. You have to be right over the hole so that you can twist. And actually, 
yeah, 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 yeah. Like, right? Like you can even see, it's it's easy. It's not hard to twist that, right? But what is when the wire is resting on the ice, it is hard. It's difficult to do. So you kind of have to be precise with that. And and then it's just like if your holes aren't right, and that's because it was my second time today doing it. My holes weren't right, so. I was like jigging like this, right? And then holding, right? And then holding the wire right here. And it was, it was kind of weird. Um, so, but you can, it would be great if you had, if you had two people, it would be a lot easier. Uh, but you can do it solo. It's, it's a pain in the butt, but it works. And you can get the images. Um, I think it's got uh, some really good value, value in, for practical applications, like uh, seeing what your lure, the action on your lure with certain jig strokes uh, is, is pretty valuable. And then um, seeing what the ground looks like, if what kind of surface you have, or if there's structure cover, which is all really, for me, I've asked, which that's like super important. Um, so that I think is really cool. For you know, for 120 bucks, it's I can create content and I can check out the uh, physical features of the contours and see what my lures look like in the water and try to mimic really good action. Uh, so you know, I'm happy with it for the 120 bucks. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I think the you know by far the worst part, of the worst like aspect of this product is. The imaging is just, it's bad. And not only the imaging, well, it's not, I don't, it's not horrible. You can make it out, but it's just, it's not good. And also you have to consider like, I'm looking in murky water with a lot of sediment. The infrared picks up a lot of that sediment and there's not much light. So I don't know how much better it would look with light in open water. Um, but yeah, it's it's not the greatest quality. It's $120. Um, so I think I'll show you, I'll talk about, I wanna talk about these, uh, these the images I, I have in the background, right? One's from uh, a pickerel. Pickerel actually hit my bait, which is pretty cool. I didn't even know the pickerel was there because I was looking at, I had a sonar and a fish finder. And I was like looking at that and <laughs> trying to spin the camera and, and jig all of them is like weird angles. I didn't even see the pickerel right there, but it was pretty cool. And then just the other imaging right here I'll show you is uh, just the different types of action that my my um, my baits have in the water, which is I think really cool. I, I've discovered today too that the best action for me is just just slowly going up and down, right? Like I'll rip, that's a lipless crankbait, I'll rip that to make noise, it's got BBs in it, to draw the bass in, and then just going up and down and honestly, and then also when you rip it, like bring the rod down, let that bait fall and bounce, and it's like on a pendulum, and so when it hits the very bottom, it's got this great action with the tail, it's really cool. Uh, so I'm like really happy about that. You know, I wanna see what other baits look like in the water and the best presentations to use. So, uh, so I'm stoked about that, but. Uh, anyways, some of the accessories that it comes with, this is really crazy. Oh, and also to like, uh, I just want to, the, the, like it's super compact and nice, right? Like to bring around with you, this is all you, you're bringing. So I'm ha that's a call, that's a pro, right? And like, it doesn't take up much space. It's not heavy. This is the kind of ideal really. Um, but then that, uh, it's negated really by this. I mean, if this were just right, I gotta get up. this thing right here, this plug, if it were just on this side or this side, it would be wonderful because it's hard to put this in your lap with that there or rest it on a surface because it's always at this really weird angle. So you have to like wedge it, but I had to wedge it between my legs today. It was, it was just weird. Uh, not terribly comfortable, but you know, again, it's cheap and it worked and I got my content and I'll, I know I'll get better content with it. So, 
Uh, you know, it's just things you have to consider if you're going to purchase this. But it's really crazy, man. This is, this one accessory, this is for a fishing rod. Like, I, I don't know, you screw this into your monitor. And then this, you attach that to a fishing rod. It's got to be a custom rod that the Lucky makes. It's got to be. And then this is supposed to be like a reel. Like, and then you can cast out the camera with a lure attached to it and catch a bass. Like, that's what the, they're marketing that. Like, it's just crazy. Like, I, there's no, I, I think that would, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't think that could happen at all, but whatever. Um, and then you have your battery charger. It's lithium batteries. Uh, how long they last? I don't know. I haven't used them for a full charge. I want to say three to four hours of recording or however long it takes for, you know, if you have more, obviously if you, I mean, if you run out of memory, you need more disk space, but, um, I've used it. I used it for about an hour total recording today. And one of the three battery bars is missing. So I'm going to say it's somewhere between three and four hours. Uh, and then you have a little elastic that goes around that spool. But I don't even know if I'm going to use this spool anymore. I might just remove because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I think maybe just wrap up the wire and to a big elastic might be a better idea or something similar to that. But yeah, I mean, that's really the review. It's, it's so funny. It's boxed so eloquently. It's like... Uh, it reminded me of getting a new iPhone. It was like see, the, the, the feeling of the box is the same. It was like beautifully packaged, really well laid out. Uh, there were like four compartments in this box. It was pretty funny. And it's just like a cheap, really bad image camera. But uh, again, it works. You, if, you were, if you're looking for content, you can get the content for 120 bucks. Uh, Yeah, and there's some practical applications you, you can use it for. It's just not the greatest image quality. And it's kind of like a pain in the butt to finagle everything, but it works. Uh, and I love, I know it sounds silly, but I, I love the compact size of it. Like this is, takes up no space. It's great. One thing I forgot to mention was the battery, the chargers, the battery. You can get you get a car charger and a plug-in charger, which is pretty neat, I think. <coughs> uh, so you can charge it up in your car. Well, that's the video. Um, I think it really boils down to if you don't have a lot of money, but you want an underwater camera. This I, this is kind of I think this is right now this is like the only option that you have. You look on Amazon, but I don't. Think think you're gonna find uh, many other options that let you record. So I hope that helped. And I, you know, again, if you want the content, you'll get it. It's just, you kind of have to deal with, it's not super user friendly. That's it, but that's the video. Hope it helped, hope it gave you good perspective. Hope to catch you real big bass soon. If you're new to the channel, Hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you. If you want to own this right now, check the Amazon links in the description box. Hope you catch a real big bass soon. Thank you. Goodbye.